Tonight, a local pastor is demanding a Hillsborough County deputy be fired. The pastor says he is a victim of racism and abuse during this traffic stop. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says the deputy did nothing wrong, and that situation could have ended differently if the pastor had simply handed over his driver's license. Jeff Patterson joins us now. He's live at the Sheriff's Office in Ebor to tell us more about what went down in this case. Good evening, Stacey. The video you are about to see can be difficult to watch. It shows both anger and aggression from the pastor and the deputy who were involved. And in the end, the result is a violent takedown and an arrest. I'm going to give you about 0.2 seconds explaining to me what you pulled me over for because I have not committed any traffic violations. The tag. That's a, that's you, that's a, the, you can't have that design. From the moment he is pulled over, Pastor Carl Soto is angry and confrontational was annoyed that he followed me for three miles. He followed me, he was tailing me extremely close. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says this sticker of a joker on the pastor's Florida license plate is the reason the deputy pulled the pastor over. But listen to the angry confrontation that follows. I'm a third year law student. This is not something you want to do. I'm going to see your see my shirt. Please. The deputy asks repeatedly to see the pastor's driver's license. Pastor Soto shows the deputy his license, but pulls it back when the deputy tries to take it in his hand. From the moment he was being confrontational with me, I knew that the reason for the stop one was unlawful. But under Florida law, a driver is required to hand over his license, proof of insurance and registration when asked. The sheriff's office maintains the deputy did nothing wrong. But unfortunately, Mr. Soto's actions led to this being escalated and this resulting and ending in a very different way. Can you Less than four minutes after being pulled over, the deputy pulls out his taser. You have now. no lawful reason to open Driver's this door. Driver's license now. You have no lawful reason to open Driver's this door. Driver's license Back now. the hell up now. Eventually, the deputy pulls the pastor out of the car. But Pastor Soto says he is unable to stand because he recently had back surgery. I cannot stand on my own. Get out of the car. I just had surgery. The sheriff's office says the deputy had no way to know if the pastor could or could not walk, but had to gain control of an angry driver. And our deputy has to make actions and take control of the situation in order to resolve this for the safety of the person in front of him and himself. The pastor says he was profiled because of his race. This wouldn't have happened if I was a shade, if, 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 I, if I was a few shades lighter. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says the entire arrest and the entire video that you have just seen part of has been reviewed by a supervisor and they maintain this deputy did nothing wrong. Live in Ybor City, Jeff Patterson, eight on your side.